close your eyes, focus on your breath. Watch the breath all the way in, all the way out. Notice what kind of breathing feels good right now. You can try longer or shorter, heavier or lighter, faster or slower, deeper or more shallow. Pay attention to what kind of breathing feels best, and when you find a rhythm that feels good, stick with it. Don't leave it. Don't throw it away. It takes a while to get good things in life, so you have to learn how to protect them. It requires energy. It requires effort. This is one of the strengths we have as human beings, so we can put our energy into areas where we find that they actually give rise to happiness, they give rise to well-being. Of course, energy it's not just a matter of brute energy, it's knowing what's the right kind of energy, and also knowing what needs to be done and learning how to make yourself happy to do it, to give rise to a desire. This is one of the aspects of right effort that the Buddha described, generating desire to do the right thing. Because all too often our problem is that we know the right thing to do, but we don't feel like doing it for one reason or another. We tell ourselves, I don't have enough energy, I don't have enough time, or I just don't have it within me to do it. And that way we cut ourselves off. We've gained the knowledge of what's right and wrong, and yet we don't use it to our own advantage. And that's really foolishness. Once you know that the right thing to do is, then you've got to figure out some way to make yourself happy to do it. So whether it's looking at the dangers of not doing the right thing, or we're thinking about the rewards of doing the right thing, or having a sense of pride, that you are willing to do the honorable thing or the right thing regardless of whether you want to or not. And this way you overcome your laziness, you overcome your desires. This overcomes an awful lot of unskillful things in the mind, that sense of honor, that you know the right thing and you're happy to do it. And so you have to learn how to psych yourself out and figure out what things really do motivate you to act, and use that knowledge to make sure that you act in skillful ways. This way we take our conviction and our principle of action, and then we actually stick with it. Because after all, that principle is something that applies 24-7, all day, every day. And so we have to be willing to do the right thing all day, every day. And sometimes it takes a lot of energy. This is, and one way of making it easier is to energize yourself through your motivation. Learn how to talk to yourself. Learn how to, if you can't think of anything else, learn how to give yourself a little reward. Okay, if I tell yourself if I learn how to do without this or learn how to work at that, sit and meditate X number of hours a day, or do walking meditation, or learn how to get rid of my greed, anger, and delusion to at least some extent, and learn how to reward yourself. This way that it gets the mind in a better mood in order to do the right thing. Because that's one of the saddest things there is. You have all this knowledge about what's right and wrong and what you should and shouldn't do, and yet for some reason you just can't bring yourself to do it. That's going to lead to a lot of regret down the line. So in order to prevent that regret, you learn how to energize yourself through your motivation, generating the desire to do what you know is really should be done. To do as the Buddha said, learning how to enjoy developing and enjoy abandoning. I enjoy developing good qualities and enjoy abandoning. That's one of the customs of the Noble Ones. So learn how to develop that sense of enjoyment, the sense of pride in your skill. That way the knowledge you have really does become useful knowledge. It really does make a difference in your life.